Okay, so I'm on an HTC U11. I installed the Stadia app, but I will show you on the Stadia app when you go in here. It's not going to give you the option to play because it says I am not on a Pixel. But that's okay. You can still do the store and everything. But say you actually do want to play. So you have all these game options, but you can't play. Well, actually you can. I'm going to show you how. So this phone is not active. It's not actually connected to your cellular network. Previously I uploaded a video on how to do this on a Pixel 3. But this is an HTC U11. And just so you know that I'm not lying, we'll just flip over here to about my phone. Android 9. Phone identity, HTC U11 right there. Go ahead, hack my phone. I don't care. It's just pretty much in reserve now. So what we want to do is go to the Stadia website. So what that's probably going to do is, yes, it went to the regular website. So you see if you go there, this is what you get. It just says Stadia. So let's make sure we're not using the Google search and we're actually using Google Chrome. So if we go to Google Chrome, we can go to Stadia really quick. So we'll just type in stadia.com and it should take us to the Stadia website. We'll give this a second to load since I'm recording and streaming at the same time and this is the same page we were just looking at. So this is the default Stadia page because it sees that we are on an Android device. But hey, if we just come up here, scroll down, see where it says desktop site. Click into here and if our Google account is the same as our Stadia account, it loads up just like that. So if I flip my phone sideways, I can now play games on my HTC U11. I just hit this happy button right here and I can start playing games right here. Quick, fast, and in a hurry, right? So you can get a USB adapter, use your keyboard and mouse on here, use a wireless keyboard and mouse on here, or just plug a Stadia controller and have fun. Or use an Xbox 360 controller, connect it to Bluetooth, and play. As you can see, two Raider works just fine on the HTC U11. But let's see, we can flip through games too if we want. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that up. My phone's not happy because I've got not a good charger on it. I'm just going to hit OK here. We're going to go back into here. I'm just going to hit the back button. It's going to ask us to take a survey. I'm just going to say excellent because, hey, it worked. I'm happy. So if we scroll down, we can see the games that we have. So we can do Destiny. We've got Samurai Showdown. I'm just going to click on Destiny this time so you can see that Destiny works too. It works better when you flip your phone sideways so you can actually see stuff happening. There we go. So it's just pulled my phone in the full screen mode, and you're not going to be able to tell the difference between this and a regular game on here. This says, hey, we don't have a controller. Uh, open new game is going to close my Tomb Raider. We don't care about the Tomb Raider, right? I thought that was the controller one popping up. The controller one might pop up because I don't have a controller connected to it. And we should be loading into it right about now. So it wants my microphone. So hey, if we can see my microphone. Here with my microphone. Mouse is not completely connected. Click anywhere. So as you can see, we can do that. Back into it says this is not possible. It is 100% possible, and it is just fine. Uh, tomorrow, I'll probably hook this up and stream how to do this. So I'll uh, leave some comments. Let me know what you'd like to see. I'd be happy to get back to you. Thank you.